say that I want to tell you because I think I talk too much. And, uh, I think I talk too much. And, uh, last, last year I told you that uh, I'm sure it's March, uh, April, I don't remember, or May. Coming to church will be very difficult. And you can hear what is happening now. That there will be no crossover. <laughs> there will be no crossover now. I'm sure you're hearing that. So you can hear. Coming to church will be very difficult. Number two, the moment you hear this man is a prophet, you will run away. I've been telling you that. The moment you just say, this man is a prophet, you just say, ah, oh, you want my money, you run away. It's coming. It's really coming. You are going to doubt the service of God. You people here, you are going to doubt the service of God because of others who have fallen. Because we have not, we, we, we didn't have a discerning spirit. We didn't, we didn't have a discerning spirit. We thought everybody is a pastor. Now we, we, we will fight the whole pastors. The time is coming, you, are, you people here, staying home to you will be better than not coming to church. It's coming. And it, you know, this is just introduction. This is coming. I was telling people that uh, <laughs> that people are not afraid of rapture. I think she was there. I said, after rapture, what will happen here? You have to die saying, I love Jesus. There will be locusts. I, t I, I, was, I was telling you. I said, there will be locusts. I said, those locusts, it's not small locusts. It's something like this, like a lion. And they'll be able to fly. I said, you see what... Right now, people are talking about what is coming. We must be always ready. If God can take us away, we are safe. I don't know if you hear me. Because what will happen after rapture, it's not good. What will happen after You, you have to say, this, this thing must kill me now. I love Jesus. What you are failing to do it now, you will do it later with pain. There will be locusts like this. Those locusts here will be having hairs, hairs like of ladies, will be having a face like of a person. Like this, like a lion. Everybody will be running. Uh, you know, that thing al alone, if it enters here, all of you here, you'll be there. You'll be there, probably. You'll be running. Frightening things you have never seen will come. I'm just trying to tell you that we are playing church. Hey, my church is big. Hey, my church is small. Hey, I'm this church. This is the time now of dealing with your flesh. Because you are going to lose this flesh. This flesh. You tell yourself, no, it's better. I die. It comes and kills you. Now you go to heaven. But now if you are not afraid, if you are not afraid of death now, and you are dealing with your flesh, you, you will overcome. You will be raptured. But if you are trying to save your life, you will lose it. Because those things will come and chase everybody. It's coming. Like this. Think about something like a lion like this. Lion is like this. And having a face of a person. Like you tell you, M4, come here. I want to eat you. Come here. And when you run here, it will be flying. With, with claws like this. Go and read the book of Revelation. <laughs> oh my God. How many of you have read the book of Revelation? You have read it? Let me ask, did you read about it? Let me hear uh, Pastor Terry. Pastor Terry. <laughs> did you read about the locusts? Yes, Daddy. It says what? Yes, the locusts will sting people and they will beg to die. They will beg to die. They will beg to die. Because come and take your leg. I want to die. You won't die. I wish to die now. Let's, let's be ready for our Christ. We must not be frightened by anything. Your boyfriend will be running away, even yourself. You leave grocery in the fridge. <laughs> what, you are, what, has, what has brought you there? Your boyfriend will be running away like this, screaming. 
I was in the U.S. I saw a vision whereby, uh, you know, something like a shark. You know, shark opening up the mouth, but it could swallow the whole, the whole America with gulf of fire. And I heard, this is what will happen in the end. No one will be able to run because you cannot run from here and go to, to Zimbabwe by running. Have you ever done that? Eh? Can you run from here to, to Captain Park? Have you ever, yourself, you gain weight. I mean, so we need to have fear of God now. So we must be always ready. Amen. Tell about, you, we must be always ready. Prayer must be your life. Can we just change now? Prayer becomes our life, the word of God. We stay. Sleeping when it comes here, we say, hey, wait, I want, to, I want to pray. I want to pray. We get out of fashion. We get out of fashion. We enter the, the old life of apostles. Who to love one another. We pray together. We become Christians. I mean, look what happened in our church today. If you believe, say amen. amen. You are believing what? That Jesus will come, isn't it? So we must be ready for him. Let's be ready for him. Right now you have come here forward to accept Jesus. Can we go and pray with them as they are busy? As they are busy, pray with them now. Let us close our eyes and lift our hands. Let us say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you today. I come to you today. Lord, I am a sinner. Lord, I am a sinner. Wash me with the precious blood of Jesus. Wash me with your precious blood of Jesus. Wash me from all my evil thoughts. Wash me from all my evil thoughts. Help me, Father, from today. Help me, Father, from today. Let me live according to your spirit. Let me live according to your spirit. Let my mind be aligned with your word. Let my mind be aligned with your word. Let my mind be set on the things that are above. Let my mind be filled with the things above. I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord. Today that your Holy Spirit. Today that your Holy Spirit. Let it lead me. It lead me. And let it guide me. Let it guide me. In every path that I take. In every path that I take. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Go and sit down. You know, I don't know what will happen. Remember that all of us would say chocolate is bread. And uh, all these things here, they are confusing us now. If you don't have them, you can't pray. Now, all this grocery, whatever, they, I mean, this Capitec, APSA, or First National Bank, they are confusing us. The, this issue of uh, wrap around the dress you get somewhere is really confusing you. The shoes that makes you to walk like this, it's confusing you now. You're, you're confused. When you, when you want to walk here, everybody must see you now. And then you forget that you are not carrying steel. This thing that you are carrying also will die one day. You are so much confused. Right now, when you don't get money, you are confused. If God tells you that your currency is not money's faith, what are you going to say? Yourself, you'll be searching for rent. rent. What about faith now? What about your currency, which is faith? In fact, I feel like I can reveal this life for you. I, I, I wanted to reveal this life we are living, this world we are in. That when you are 16, when you are 17, when you are 18, you are always dreaming. Now, when you are start to be 30, you realize my dreams, if they were there, were right. When you are 40, you realize, I must accept because I cannot change this. You go to 50 now, you just say, hey, now I must be responsible now. You start to think about death will come one day. And now you realize that this life does not satisfy you. This life, does, you are always dreaming what you cannot get. Even when you get more, you feel you need more. 
So this is the life we are living. And then now, if you are not wise enough, you look at these ones who don't have, as smaller than you. Let me stand up. Let me greet you. How are you? Look, look at this man when I greet this one. You see? These people here, they are not the same. You see? Let me greet this one. Can you see? You see how they greet me? Let me greet you. Can you see how I greet them? You see how this one greets me? This one greets me. So, they greet me according to their own standard. This one, when he greets me, he says, no, this is a man of God. This one says, oh, he's another guy. This one. <laughs> so, that's how you people are. That's how you are. The way you view other people and interpret them. That's how you are. And that's how you will be judged. Because the judgment of this one, will, this man, when I greet him like this, is also teaching me to greet others the same. So, what more can I say? Let me stop there. If you have a testimony, you can run for